18-year-old Rama Dani knows how to turn old into gold. This one is a 90s sweater from Korea. I bought it roughly 25 SGD. So if I want to sell it in Singapore, I think the price that I could probably sell uh, for, for this sweater is maybe close up to 80, 80 SGD, uh, which I think for its quality and its, um, well, for its value, I think it's not too bad uh, in, in Singapore. Rama is a student in fashion apparel production and design at the Institute of Technical Education. He's had a side hustle since he was 12 years old. He sells fashion items online with a simple strategy, buy low, sell high. I will like go to Indonesia or like, you know, um, Malaysia and I go thrifting just for clothes and now that I sell it like pretty high. The largest I think I got was like a 50s uh, sweater from 1950. It's a 1950s sweater for, I sold it for 500 and the customer was like from uh, US. Arizona. It was like a thrift store, so I think the owner didn't know. So like twenty dollar maybe, or like ten, ten ringgit lah maybe. So it was like a pretty high high amount of profit. The money to fund these purchases comes from his Do It Raya. These green packets are cash gifts given to children and elders during Eid Al Fitr, which follows the end of the Muslim fasting month of Ramadan. Rama receives up to $600 in Do It Raya during the celebrations, which are called Hari Raya Puasa in Singapore. And he's keen to make this money work harder for him. I try my best to save and also uh, start up, just make it increase and higher just by selling stuff and doing other stuff that maybe can grow my money higher. For the past few years, Rama has been buying and reselling vintage items for a profit. And he's now working with a friend to design and manufacture their own line of clothing. It's how you invent ways to, you know, to, to multiply whatever. Some, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Right? Yeah. He, he's quite active in that space. And at times, you know, he, he, he get very good returns. At times, not so. But yeah, this, this, is, this is something that for them to learn also. You, you really need to have a nose to it, right? To smell all this. Otherwise, it, it may not work. You know, if you ask the mother or myself to, to, to do this, you know, we, I don't think we can sell like that, right? But, but he can actually make those you know, multi, multi, multi baggers kind of returns. Rama is the eldest child in his family. He and his siblings say they always look forward to Hari Raya celebrations. When there's more guests, there's more do it Raya. So there was actually one time last year where we actually stayed one whole afternoon in my grandma's house and there were just guests flowing into the house. So yeah, then we got quite a good amount of do it Raya from there. I received, there was one year I received nearly $1,000. Rama's father, Fauzi, works for a bank and his mother, Yuni, is a housewife who left her full-time job about two years ago. It's up to them what they want to do with the money. But sometimes they will ask me first, then I just guide her. But whatever you want to do with the money, we are okay with it. So from, from our standpoint, we don't really institute, uh, you know, save everything and put it in a bank, right? It, it's more a hand-holding process and, and we like to know what, they, they are, what their spends are mm. on and also we, we try to monitor what their spending are, so we, we are also learning. Right? Being able to talk about money as a family has helped the kids make better decisions about spending and saving. My mother always says, buy what you need, not what you want. Yeah, so every time I, maybe I scroll to Shopee, I will look at the item and I'll tell myself, buy what you need, <laughs> not what you want. Our parents, they give us the freedom to spend what we want. It's just that they'll give us advice on whether um, we should really spend our money on the certain item or not. I think um, for them, right, um, they will let us buy and then 
they will let us experience whether it was really uh, a purchase worth buying or not. And if it's not, then it's our uh, ultimately it's our loss because we are, we are using our own money. Rama and his siblings each have their own bank accounts, and that gives them the opportunity to optimize their savings. Once you have a savings account, uh, you can have uh, this conversation with the children about investing. And investing, again, doesn't have to be very, very sophisticated stocks and bonds and things like that. Again, we're talking about small amounts of money here. Maybe interest rates are really good, so maybe you take some, say, take some of that and put it in a fixed deposit, right? Uh, fixed deposit rates are really good and that teaches you that you know the time value of money locking in some treasury bills right now or even if you can get some fixed deposit promos and uh, locking it there um, or even buying some uh, uh, fixed income ETFs that are actually paying um, some higher uh, higher yields would probably be the best course of action right now as interest rates start to come down then you start looking at diversifying um, into more equities and things like that Financial experts say such situations are opportunities for parents to impart important life lessons. For parents, uh, it's a very important conversation to have that money is finite um, and you need to uh, proportionately allocate it towards uh, you know, what your priorities are. Right? So I think that's the first conversation parents should be having with their children. And then going from there is to kind of make them understand that you know, having a bit of money and, and pursuing instant gratification only gives you very, very temporary high, right? Um, that you need to start thinking about how do I make my money work for me? Um, how do I get extra return? Through such conversations, Fauzi and Uni say they also learned that today's young face a new set of money challenges. They are driven because of social media and whenever they, they, they buy something, they need to be on the, that platform to get validations, to get online approvals. Last time when they shop, they don't think about the price. Mm -hmm. Last time. Yeah. Yeah. But now I told them to uh, sh shop smartly. Lah. Before you buy, you have to see first other website, is it cheaper or not? How is the function? Is it? Uh, so I, I ask them to do their own research first lah, before you click buy. They are much better spender, much better uh, savers than, than the previous generation. Right? And, and it, it also helps that you have everything online for them to monitor what they want to buy. But then, then again, there, there are more things for them to buy. Mm -hmm. <laughs>